I don't know whether we'll keep the weeklies going. The most important thing is we all had fun. We came all the way here, we might as well go on. Oh yeah, so are you? Yeah, speaking today. Alright, what are you saying that, son? I'm well, how are you? Why are you talking like that? I don't know who that guy is. Are they all coming out to see your car, are they? Maybe. Like, share and subscribe. KBT Weekly, welcome back to episode 49 and today we're employing people. Me and Beth are just going to go through these CVs that have just come through. We're looking for a new bookkeeper. Now, uh, if you are looking for a job and you are a qualified bookkeeper with at least two years experience, do get in touch with us. We are looking for an in-house bookkeeper uh, who can work alongside us. You'll have your own office, your own desk, your own computer and we'll give you an eighth of the space of that tiny fridge we've got behind us put your sandwiches in. Uh, other than that, what better people to work with than people like me? And, me. and Beth sometimes. <laughs> but i um, got a bunch of CVs here, just gonna go through them all. It's Monday morning, usual techers, uh, printed all the orders, sent them down. This guy, he's got five page CV, we should employ this guy straight away. Yeah, this guy's got five pages and he's got one, so. I think this guy is too overqualified. Yeah, he's way too overqualified to be working here. So Scott has been tasked with a job to mail shot customers uh, or potential customers um, who we can sell fabric to. Um, so whatever they may be, I'm not going to tell you who my customers are because you're a nosy bunch, ain't you? Mr. Momin is off for the week. He's on holiday. Um, took some annual leave. Nafis is on his own downstairs. The Smasher is back. The Iron Maiden. <laughs> I love this guy, you know. In other news, uh, the factory next door, and if you're from Birmingham, you may have heard about this factory, or you would have smelt it before you've seen it. I mean, really, they should take that factory and move it into the middle of the motorway somewhere, you know, in the middle of some fields where, you know, there's no human life to smell it. Because everybody yeah. around here all inhale it. Yeah. No human life to inhale that horrid horrid stench i mean if you ever have passed our factory uh, whatever time it may be there's no particular time you see it's not even like okay at one o'clock it's gonna start smelling everyone put your gas mask on it's not like that it's randomly comes and attacks you so i'm just on the phone to aviva and uh, they cover my home insurance i don't know why you need to know that but i'll tell you anyway so just gotta sort something out with them uh and then i'm gonna be shooting to leicester because my father just come up gave me a task you know and i'm just here you know Joey boy and that like oi go to Leicester okay then drive to Leicester I'm gonna go and see some suppliers so um, have a good day no deal don't miss me too much yeah see you later then see you later then good bro how are you I'm good this Monday it's the first Monday that I'm feeling good <laughs> I don't know why, I have so much energy. Did you have another barbecue this weekend? Yes bro, the barbecue is must, you know that. We have to eat some good meat once a week. So barbecue, without barbecue, I can't survive bro. I just went out chilling with my friends, as usual. You're only chilling with your friends, isn't it? Yeah, on weekend. No weekday? On weekdays, sometimes when there is some uh, someone like arranged a party or uh, invite us for dinner or you don't go into parties in it bro actually you know alhamdulillah i have a lot of friends here yeah so every time something's come out yeah someone arranges dinner someone gives a treat so that's the thing we go out then 
and I give one day to my family and one day to my friends. That's the routine. Uh, Ismail, Firi's there. You said you wanted to fight him, bro. You 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 made me say that. <laughs> He's my good friend, you know. And this guy, bro, he told me, yeah, take this stick and say that Fury is like this stick. Oh, that was this guy. Yeah, you know me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and even Nafis, bro, he's my brother. And you guys, bro. No, bro, that day, you know, I woke up uh, on the wrong side of my bed. That's why I reacted like that. But today, I realized that, that that's not good, bro. All of us are brothers here. So, Clive's here. Finally, we're going to get some work done on the billboards. <laughs> hopefully. We're going to talk through what we need to do with Clive. And uh, hopefully, by today, we should have some lights put up. Uh, and we should be powered up. So, let's take a little walk. One light, two light, three light. Same on the other board. I've got three lights. I've got three. Oh, uh, six. Sorry, you. Three, three. Okay, well, he needs to give you another three. Okay. What wattage? 50 watts. Each? I'll check, I'm sure it's 50 watts. Too, wa too bright that is, isn't it? 150 watts? No, okay. no, no, that's not So what's the plan, Clive? Wait, wait, you're, the, you're the architect here, mate. Architect? <laughs> I wouldn't take you that far. Right, so, as you know, we had the signage put up. That sign is backlit, so we're going to get some power to that. And then also, at the top of the board, we're going to get three outdoor LED lights to shine down on the board. So brighten this board up. And that's about it really. It's quite simple what we need to do. Just get a bit of power to the board. Power to that, power to the lights. Thanks for that, mate. He remembers now to speed off. What did you have for lunch? What did I have for lunch? I had uh, chicken bites. Chicken, sticky chicken bites. It's a bit of a tongue twister there, isn't it? Ask me what I had for lunch. What did you have for lunch? Nothing. Right, on that note, it's a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back, it's Tuesday and uh, I'm doing the intro because Faris is busy upstairs um, having a meeting so we're going to go straight into the fabric review. So this is one of our awning collections. So on Fabric UK it's called Stripe Dirt Resistant Awning Canvas. So this is the Lavender Multi Stripe. Um, so there's, there's loads of different colours, um, gold, there's autumn, orange, um, yeah, lavender, there's midnight greens, emerald greens, there's yellows. So they've all got different names. And then some have got this multi-stripe and then some are like a block stripe and some are just not a normal stripe pattern. So lots to choose from. Um, but yeah, they're, so they're all this canvas. So it's quite a stiff material, waterproof, obviously a dirt resistant. It's a 100% solution dyed canvas. So um, the solution, the treatment that goes on it is what will keep it nice for outdoor and indoor weathers. With the treatments it's obviously long lasting, the durability is great on these, um, there's no tear, no stains and it's antibacterial, antifungal as well so really all it is is after summer you just need to wash them and wipe them down. They can be used at the home for a canopy or some sort of sheltering, obviously weddings, um, hotels, restaurants, if you have any outdoor seating then obviously you can have an awning and then you're covered then. Even from sunlight, these are great for like UV resistant, provide shade and protect you from sun. So they're great for that and then obviously rain, they're waterproof so they'll protect you from that. So like I say, hotels and restaurants if you need any outdoor seating then this would be great for that. Just to wrap up on this then, there uh, it's an innovative design so these are new designs now, new awnings that we've got in, so definitely check them out online. Uh, on Fabric UK, there's a post on Facebook as well, there'll be posts on Instagram. So I've got plenty to be getting on with, emailing loads of companies now, so I'm going to go carry on with that, but I'll catch you guys. Meri yaar ki shadi hai. Why do you always smell so good, man?
Why do I always smell so good? Because you know what? It's sunnah to smell nice, brother. The Prophet Sallallahu always said, look after yourself, present yourself in the best... Because at the end of the day, we represent Islam. So when I go and see my clients, who are mostly uh, of white background, or shall I say, who are of a Christian background, uh, I represent Islam to them. So how I speak, how I walk, how I talk, how I smell, how I, how I dress, it all plays a part, isn't it? And I like aftershave, you know, I like smelling good. Today I've got Tom Ford ombre leather on, uh, which is my go-to. I keep a bottle of it in my car and I also have various bottles at home. And then what else do I wear? Like a lot of people will, will actually try and cancel me for saying this, but Sauvage Dior, I don't like it. But everybody seems to be like rare over it, like, oh, it's the best smell in the whole world. No, it's not. It stinks. But guys, try Tom Ford Ombre Leather. You will thank me later, for sure. And you will not be disappointed. You're not going to believe where I'm going. Back to Leicester we go. Because uh, some numpty left a sample in the back, which was very important. Now, I can't mention any names who it was, but the guy went to Leicester yesterday. And he... Uh, he done half a job. His name's half a job Barry, or half a job Larry. Might be Farry, don't know. I'll hold my hands up, it was me. I left some artwork in the back of the van. I un unloaded the van, not realizing that uh, I left the most important piece in the back. So uh, my dad wasn't too happy about that yesterday. He'd, uh, he, uh, he made sure to remind me how much of a numpty I am. So yeah, that was good. Anyway. You live and learn, don't you? We all make mistakes, we're human, um, and nobody's perfect. We've got another three episodes before we hit the major milestone of uh, one year. We've been doing this for one year, guys. We're three weeks short of a year. I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who supported me and who showed me love, and those who always remind me that it's lunchtime every time they see me. So, uh, yeah, man, it's good. We had our fair share of fun times you know, over the last year. So far, we're, uh, we're nearly at 3,000 subscribers, which is, to be honest with you, I would have thought we would have been a lot more. But I quite quickly realized that YouTube's a tough game, man. You know, you guys don't subscribe. You like to watch, but you don't subscribe, which is okay, it's not a problem. We've gained over 2,500 subscribers, which is a, a solid foundation uh, to move forward with. We have got plans for the future, inshallah. I don't know whether we'll keep the weeklies going uh, or we'll knock it on the head, but uh, we'll see how it goes, you know. But uh, I want to keep doing the YouTube, whether or not we do weeklies moving forward or whether we just change it up to the how-tos and shorts and things like that. But we'll see what happens. The only reason why I've sort of, uh, I don't want to say drag it out because that's, you know, not giving myself credit. But the only reason why I've taken it to the end of the year is uh, purely because of consistency guys and you need to understand something and this is for the younger generation if you are watching whatever you do stay consistent you know um, if it's not working out for you now if it's not working out for you next week don't be disheartened because there'll come a time where you'll you know something will happen and things will change for you as the old saying goes every dog has his day i think social media it uh, it's a false narrative of how life should be. You know, myself, it don't help the situation by posting my cars and things like that, but that's what people want to see. But uh, the reality is that uh, life is not peachy. You know, things don't come easy. You've got uh, a lot of people who, you know, whose families are very wealthy. They've got a nice fleet of cars, um, but it makes the cars look cheap when they're not. You know, trying to buy a Lamborghini at the age of 21 is just ridiculous. One, they're not marketed for you. Two, you know, I think social media makes you feel like you're 21 and you can buy a Lamborghini because your mate's flashing one around. But listen, nine times out of 10, that's not his Lamborghini. That's not his watch. That's not his house. You know, probably that's not even his clothes. He's probably borrowed next man's clothes to just go and stunt on, on Instagram. So if you are one of my younger viewers, please take heed of this advice. You know, I'm sure your parents or your older siblings have, have said this to you or anybody with half a brain cell. Um, you know, don't be fooled by social media. It's uh, it's all a farce. Nothing's real on there. But let me just pause there. You're right. You're shattering all these kids' dreams, you know. Right. I think that's enough waffling from me. I'm off to Leicester, and I'll leave you with that. I'll see you when I'm back from Leicester. Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome to Tuesday afternoon KBT. Like a broken record. It's busy, but understaffed. 
and uh, we got a lot of orders to get out. But uh, alhamdulillah, we'll be alright by Friday. It's usually the case on a Monday, Tuesday. Panic stations everywhere. But um, yeah, slow but steady. That's the aim of the game. And keep it moving. Where's Harry Potter? Harry, oh, Harry, <laughs> Harry Potter. Um, I'm sorry, where's the smasher? That's the smasher. Uh, he's off today. I don't know. He just asked me where he is. I says, mate, your guess is as good as mine. But I think he usually has a few days off during the week. So you think he's training? Lucky for some. Hey? You think he's training? Training. For what? The big fight life? You don't need training, man. You don't need no training, bro. He's ready. He's ready to smash up. What do you want? You want an outro? My name's Saj. Uh, this is Capital Weekly. And it's the end of today, which is... What day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday. I don't know what day of the week it is. I've only just started. It's Tuesday. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Welcome to another day at KVT. I'm doing the introduction today, I think. Um, Faris is, uh, I think he's gone to Leicester to finish off a delivery that he was meant to do yesterday. So he's gone there, he left early in the morning. Business as usual on a Wednesday morning. Um, to be fair, it's been quite of a, pretty much quiet today, to be honest. Um, I know all the seniors are in, in a meeting today, so they're all upstairs. So it's quite quiet downstairs. Uh, just bought down all of the product orders, the dye shop orders, all the alpha orders and all of our elastics and whatnot. So I'm going to crack on with these. Still waiting for these guys' orders to come down from upstairs. But I know they are busy so I think they're just working through them in their own time. Let's keep it going, keep it moving. Midweek, almost there, almost there. Let's keep it going. How are you? Guess where I'm going? You're not going to bloody believe it. You're not going to believe it even if I told you. I'm going back to Leicester for the third time this week. I've got some supply issues, so I'm going to go to Leicester and sort them out. But uh, the boys are here and they're getting on with it. Momin's off. Scarlett's upstairs. I'm going to leave the day with Scarlett because I'm not going to be back till later on. Where were you yesterday, Shmar? Bro, I took a day off. Why? I was not feeling well. Big man like you, not feeling well? Because, you know, we did barbecue the meat. The meat was good. Barbecue again? Yeah. We do it every week and sometimes two days a week, three yeah, days a week. Yeah, I know, it sounds like it. You yeah. said last week you had four barbecues. Yeah, yeah. How are you, man? I'm good, thank you. I just need to take a smile. I need the help. So I stopped the quilting machine in Uncle Farouk. He have the order, I think he completed it. Order is like heavy. So me and... Uh, what's his name again? I forgot their names, bro. I'm not good with names. Just call him Harry Potter. Uh, what? Just call him Harry Potter. Okay, I'm gonna take Haifa with me and I'm gonna take him there. So like, there's like maybe 15, 20, like, you know, tented. The order was there. So we, it's complete. So we're gonna fold it and then fix it. Maybe he's gonna go out today. So Uncle Paruk make me stop working in the quilting machine. He said, come here. So I'm gonna help him out. So there you go. Hey, what did he say? Yeah, good, yeah. You alright? Is that me? How's everybody? You okay, people? I like your shirt. Thank you. You like yours as well? Load up, man. Load up. What, well, four chairs in here? No, I'm going to try and get three. Three, I think there's three there. and subscribe. Simon from Express Electrical, uh, who is our electrical distributor, has dropped me off this top to wear. This is something I help Simon with. 
his young son is 14 years old for all you uh, youth out there who are sleeping all day. This kid is uh, inspirational, man, I tell you. He's got so many ideas. Uh, he's made this top. So the brand is One Life, One Chance, Make It Happen, which is printed on the uh, left breast and then centralized stitching on the back. So yeah, as I said, I mean, this is something that I helped Simon with. Uh, do go and check it out, guys. A very inspirational uh, young kid and will be going far in life, inshallah. So that's the top and he's kindly sent me one to keep but uh, other than that it uh, it is now currently five o'clock we're just coming up to five o'clock uh, i'm gonna love you and leave you because uh, i'm absolutely shattered and i've got a few things to do on my computer so i don't want to bore you too much so i'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early So welcome back to another day at KBT Fabrics. I'm Faris, your host, and I'm sitting at my desk. Um, what's going on today, Nadil? You're going Leicester? No, I'm not going Leicester. I, you know what, even if they ask me to go Leicester, I'm going to refuse because I'm sick of that place. But I might be going in Sheffield, I'm going up uh, up north, you'll see the sights. So, yesterday um, we managed to finish one of the boards, so we've got the lights up. So the KBT Media signage has got a light on the back of it, so that's now lit up also put the floodlights on um, there's just one task to do which is paint the perimeter uh, but my guy has disappeared man my labourer has disappeared I'm not sure where he is he's not answering my calls so I'm in a bit of a predicament but uh, we're going to get some artwork sent over to the boys next door get a banner made get that put on so our first couple of months of advertising will be live sometime this week whether that's over the weekend or early next week uh, but we will definitely get that on I don't know if you guys remember Gary from Hull he's now cleaned out the site uh, it's looking somewhat presentable we're going to give the outside a lick of paint take the magic moment sign down stop giving people inspiration to put cannabis grows there we're going to take the sign down paint the front of the shop and then we're going to give it to uh, an agent there in Hull to manage um, what we should have done to start with to be honest but uh, there was a local guy who uh, introduced another guy who said that he was interested took the shop off us under the pretense that he was going to be opening a nail bar uh, but he decided to open a cannabis farm instead maybe he thought that was better business but it didn't last very long uh, and his plans got taken and someone's car alarm's going off hopefully it's not my car you don't mind me having a I don't mind you at all, mate. You carry on. You're looking at yourself. me like, are oh, you touching my Mr. Kidlins? Yeah, help yourself, mate. You're alright. <laughs> you want one? I already want it's one. It's alright, mate. You can have uh, you can have one and you can have the other one. I already want one. It's alright. I don't want one. Yeah. I've had one already. Yeah. No, it's alright. Go on, I've had two today. I've had four, actually. I'm going go-karting. I'll uh, see you guys in a little while on the GoPro. So, uh, Akil, he's booked a uh, go-karting. I did book it. Uh, yeah, he's no, no, no doubt he's booked, booked it. For this track. No doubt he's booked it. And he's booked it for this track. We're in the right place. At the it's right It's just time. Uh, we're about 24 hours too early. But what <laughs> we're going to do, we're going to camp out here. <laughs> yeah, next to the car. We're going to camp. Uh, Hamza's in the back of the S3. Back. Yeah, oh, we've already good. tested the boot space. No, so we're going to live the outdoor life for a bit. Huh? I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, Akil's going to get the full send. Yeah, he's going to get the full KBT right foot. Yeah. He's been giving the shit talk all day. <laughs> well, he doesn't know what he's getting himself into. He's telling me to puke out my food. Yeah, he's to puke out my lunch, which I'm not gonna do ever. Anyway, come on. You know what I mean? Go on, lad. There goes the kill. There goes the kill at the back. And there's hooks on face. So we're just in the briefing. This is the test lap before the big day tomorrow. You're Obviously, a keel. Pregnant, have a heart condition, or your name is Paris. So basically, this is the test lap before the big day tomorrow. Obviously, a keel needs all the practice he can get. As you can see, he's panicking already. I gotta watch this. I'll be back with you. Race 
the career I thought yesterday. When you <laughs> the turbo this it's game over. I'm gonna take it humbly, yeah? I got smoked, I got laughed by a kill. <laughs> Obviously, pro racing driver out here. <laughs> Well done to Let's Nikki Breslin. Let's get Nikki. Nikki, where is he? But number two, Akil Nazar, as you can see there. Breslin. Congratulations, Akil. That's not my name there, number 13. I don't know who that guy is. But boys, well done to everybody. If I crashed into you, I apologise now. Hassan. Hello. Post race thoughts. It's a good race. I was just waiting for you guys to, uh, just like at the back, really. Just, you know, I couldn't see any of you guys. That's usually what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Post race thoughts. Guess what? I had hay fever. I was growing at least. And my hands weren't working either. Oh, no. It was good fun, you know. Oh, yeah. What number did you come? Um, I, mean, I came overall. I came six. Ben. Oh. I got driving thoughts. lesson on uh, uh, Monday. KS, go kart. Don't drive. The word driving. Oh, Never okay. been go karting. Don't drive. Excuses are out already. Yeah. The most important thing is we all had fun. Yeah. It doesn't matter who wins or loses. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well done to Akil for beating us all. Obviously, the skinny little sh was obviously going to beat us all. And it we're back tomorrow as well for the faster go karts. And then you watch the smoke. It's the weight that held me down. You find me today here in the packing department. What can I do for you? Go and ask me what, what am I doing packing? I am doing packing because we've got some shortage of stuff. That's why I'm doing packing. Me. They're everywhere. Yeah, get out of the way, mate. The man's uh, trying to work here. We're already under pressure. And you're standing here with a camera in our face. Being under pressure is one thing. Dealing with being under pressure is another thing. You get it. And it's a mental thing and I can deal with it. So I uh, went go-karting yesterday and uh, Akil rang me, he goes, oh, if you're not here in two minutes, they're not going to let us on. And I was about seven minutes away, so got there and they're all standing outside the car. He goes, oh, no, nah, you know, the guy is being funny with us and he doesn't like Asians and, you know, sold me a whole story, right? And what actually happened was that he booked it for the wrong day. It was actually for today. That was good. Well done, Akil. But then we still went on. Because we thought, well, we came all the way here, we might as well go on. So we went on. But we went on the small carts. Uh, but today, we're going to go on the big carts. Yeah, are you coming go-karting today? No, thank you. Yeah, we're going to go again today. Don't ask us why. Okay. Two days in a row. Akil's been talking about going go-karting for the last two months. Like, yeah, let's go go-karting. Let's go. And it's all of a sudden, we're going twice in two days. So it's good fun, though. It's a good laugh. Akil absolutely annihilated me, lapped me. He did let me, and I was giving him smoke. I'm like 10 times the size of him. Obviously, you know, big man thing and that. He weighed me down. But uh, he's coming up to Juma. 12.58. So I'm gonna go. And uh, I've got shorts on, as you can see. I'm gonna go cover my legs and then make my way over to the mosque. So I'll see you sometime after lunch. And other than that, lemon and lime, lana, sadia. Right, gotta go now. So, back from Juma, I'm just gonna go grab some lunch. The boys from DAC have turned up, DAC Mobile Valeting, come to clean up the uh, Porsche and the RS6, and they're gonna do the van. We've got a wedding tomorrow, a close family wedding. So, but it is in London. So I don't know what the state of the car will be getting there, but it is pretty filthy anyway. So, gonna get it cleaned. Where are you going? What's for lunch? I'm gonna go Perifinos. Perifinos? Yeah. I might have something from there. That is going to feed me and you. What are you talking about? What are you going to Dubai? I'm not going to Dubai. I'm going to Perifinos. That's going to feed one more staff member. Do you need burger and chicken and burger, or burger and chips or something like that, mate? What are you I, trying I to know, buy? But, uh, you know, you might as well look after me. And you said you look after yourself. And uh, Why are they washing your porch? They're not dirty. I'm going to London tomorrow. So? To wedding. And it's filthy. 
They can be in the car, but they all, are they all coming out to see your car, are they? Or maybe. They lift the bonnet up and have a look. Maybe. Well, they're not going to find anything in the bonnet. As you know, it's a frunk. I'm just with my Cody Hassan. Good in, guys. Oh, yeah, Hassan's like, yeah, yeah, speaking today. All right. What are you saying, Hassan? I'm well. How are you? Why are you talking like that? <laughs> Part two. So we're back again. Another one. Right, we've got a new professional racing driver with us today. He's here to uh, show a kill how it's done. It's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> two days here at the go-kart track the kill's been banging on about let's go go kart for the last two months and we've somehow ended up going two times in one week but thank you very much for watching and we will most definitely see you again same time same place next week <laughs>